In the middle of the Texas desert, on the border with Mexico, sits the tiny town of Presidio. This is the way in. Three, and for some, two, this one, is the way one. out. If you're a kid looking to escape the poverty and isolation of Presidio, there's really no greater vehicle than the Presidio Rocket Club. There's a thermo there. It was launched a few years ago by a firecracker of a science teacher named Sheila Candino. I wanted to teach the kids. You wanted something so bad, you put your heart into it. You grab your parts. Her goal isn't really to make future rocket scientists. It's more just to make futures. In rocketry, you don't have the instructions of how to build it. And that's how life is. It doesn't come with instructions. You have to make it on your own. Her teacher knows all about that. Born dirt poor in the Philippines, Sheila came to the U.S. on a temporary work visa. Came to Presidio because no American teachers would. Now she really wants to stay. But to become a permanent resident, she has to prove to American immigration officials that she is a person of, quote, exceptional ability. They are asking for more documents, more support, and I really do not know what else they would want from me. <laughs> You're the best aerospace teacher in America. What more can they want? Thank you. It wasn't me saying that. <laughs> You've got the award. She was recently honored as the Aerospace Teacher of the Year. It was no surprise to her students. She'll teach you things and you'll learn it like this, as long as you pay attention, of course. You're blocking the light. She's such a motivating force. Her kids often get up before sunrise to learn and launch. That's right. Their passion is so present, you can probably see it from the moon. Ejection charge ready. Tomorrow, she and her kids will compete against some of the best schools in the country in the Team America Rocketry Challenge outside Washington, D.C. Ready? The challenge this year is to make your rocket go as close to 800 feet as possible. Where is it? Then return it to Earth in between 43 and 47 seconds. Stop. 44. <laughs> oh, and one other thing. You've got to preserve two raw eggs inside. This one's fine. And to think they do this with equipment that's mostly bagged, borrowed, and broken. On a budget that's mostly bake sales, barbecues, and a goat auction. What's it going to be like if you show up there in Washington and win this thing? Oh, my God. <laughs> Nobody even knows where we're at. And then you represent the United States. That would be a big thing. And as for her dream of becoming a permanent resident of these United States, on that, the teacher would be wise to listen to the students. Never give up. You can do anything in this world as long as you never give up. Sometimes even the sky isn't the limit. Steve Hartman on the road in Presidio, Texas. That's awesome.